All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make Garanji Halftones here in After Effects inspired from Jake in Motion. So let's take a look. I'm going to start with a new composition, rename it as Halftone. I'm going to go with 1080p, 8 seconds, black background, click OK. I'm going to drag and drop the video that I want to use. And let's scale it down, press the letter S and decrease the size. Now let's go and right click here, go to New, select an adjustment layer. A right click on the adjustment layer, read him at this half tone. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in ball and drag and drop the CC ball action on the half tone layer. And now, as you can see, it made it pixelated, and we're gonna need to make these pixels around it. So let's go to the ball size, decrease, and check it out. It is going to make these square pixels around it. And I'm gonna go with 57. And up here is the grid spacing. This way, you can increase or decrease the size of the circles. And if you decrease the ball size, it is going to add some more space, but I'm gonna go with the grid spacing to eight. Let's go back to the effects and presets, type in fill, drag and drop the fill under the CC ball. And here we're gonna recolor the circles to black. Click okay. But now as you can see, the whole composition is black. So we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in solid composite, drag and drop the solid composite under the fill and make sure the color is on white. Click okay. Now, in order to make a realistic looking halftone effect, we're going to need to tilt these circles 45 degree angles. So first, I'm going to collapse all these effects. And let's go to the effects and presets, type in transform. Let's drag and drop the transform above the CC ball action. And we're going to go to the rotation and type in minus 45 degree angles. Press Ctrl D on the transform. This is going to duplicate the transform. Here we got the transform 2 and drag it above the CC ball action and make sure that the transform to the rotation is on plus 45 degree angles. So basically we're gonna transform under the CC ball action and then we get another transform above the CC ball action. Now let's go to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur, drag and drop the Gaussian blur under the solid composite and increase the value until it's going to blur out and melt together a little bit more. I gotta go with 5.6. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in CC composite, drag and drop the composite under the Gaussian blur. And we're gonna go to the transform mode and change it to hard mix. So now you can see the half tone in action. And by the way, this is RGB half tone. So I'm gonna need to make it black and white. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in threshold. Drag and drop the threshold under the CC composite. Now it's fully black and white. And if you zoom in, you can see a lot of anti-aliasing going on, which is kind of pixelated. So we're gonna need to smoothen this out a little bit. And let's go to the effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur again, drag and drop the Gaussian under the threshold. I'm gonna increase it to 3.2 to make it a little bit blurry. And I'm gonna go to the effects and presets, type in grain. Drag and drop add grain under the Gaussian to. Let's go to the previews. Go to final output. Let's change a preset to the Codec Vision 800T. And I'm gonna increase the intensity to 1.2. Hit play and this is how it looks so far. Now I'm gonna drag and drop some texture. Press the letter S, scale it down, and I'm gonna stretch it. From here, go to the blend mode. If you don't have it, you can go to toggle switch and make it appear or disappear. Go to mode and I'm gonna change it to lighten. The grunge is kind of strong, so I'm gonna go and open up the layer, go to the opacity and decrease the opacity quite a bit. Add another grunge, do the same process, press the letter S, scale it down and decrease the opacity. And this is how I make this really cool looking grungy halftone effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.